what's up you guys it's reyna and i'm back with another age of magic video and today i'm going to be unlocking the new dragonkin caster by rar and basically i'm just going to be giving my opinions on if he's worth it or not so i just finally reached level 21 Alright you guys, so as you can see here, I just leveled him up to level 50 and got him to equipment level 6 real quick, just so I can show you a basic understanding of what he does in battle. Alright you guys, so we're gonna go against this random dwarves team that I found in the light campaign, and Vira's turn is up first, so I think we're gonna start with Blessing of Light. It increases armor and magical damage resistance for all light casters and dragon and allies by 180% for three turns. So we do have Mirrodin on the team who's a light caster and the dragonkins and the druids do have pretty good synergy together. So I think this um, ability is gonna work really well with druids on your team. All right, now we're just gonna use some basic attacks to try to take out these dwarves. of strength increases outgoing damage for all light casters and dragonkin allies by 27% for two turns so again Mirrodin's gonna get a pretty good damage increase from this It's an AoE ability, and if there's an ally, Dragonkin, Tank, or Healer, the ability cannot be dodged, and we have both a Dragonkin, Tank, or and Healer, so um, no one should be able to dodge this on the enemy team. Okay, so as far as AoE abilities go, this one is pretty powerful. I think, when I think of other powerful AoE abilities in the game, I think of Tiros and... Also, Full Metal Goon actually has a pretty powerful AoE ability, the Goblin Tank, if you set it up right. Alright, on to the last round. Yeah, that damage increase from here is really nice. So my final thoughts on Virar, the new Dragon King caster, is I think he's not bad. I think he's probably the best Dragon King um, hero so far. I'm excited to see what other types of heroes that they're going to bring out for the Dragon King faction. But as of right now, I think he's alright. I don't think he's super incredible, and I don't think you need to be spending a bunch of time leveling him and gearing him up. But yeah, like I said, he might be very useful in the future if the Dragonkin faction becomes more powerful. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.